Alright, so we are going back to the Calendria Temple. I hate that they call it a symbol map, even though you're going for an event, not the actual symbol map. I'm picky. What are going to say? Deal with it. Deal with it. Why is it saying that we're at the Calendria Temple, but the background is Dajlua Wetland? Uh, I need to change my alarm. I'm not paying any attention right now, so I don't even know why I'm doing this right now. Like, yeah, why am I trying to change my alarm right now? <laughs> I have like probably 10 hours before I'm even gonna try to go to sleep. Man, that's the worst part about my job is it's just like everything is day to day. Like, I never get notified. Well, not, not, I shouldn't say never, but I very rarely get notified of when I'm working until the day before I'm actually doing it, which sucks balls because you try to make plans. And then you're like, oh, hey, I need this day off. And they're like, oh, we haven't thought that far ahead. Remind me later. And then you remind them later. And they're like, oh, what? But we had you. We were ready to use you on that day. <laughs> like, man, fuck you. Just shut up. You shut your whole mouths. Not doing it. Did he really just say true that? Really? True that? Really? Why do they keep like drew see this is the problem. Is that this game doesn't just like do shit. I would have no problem with any of the stuff these people mention if they just mentioned it. But they drill it down your fucking throats. Like this racism thing, they just pound it into you like non-fucking stop. Just constantly going at it about racism, about how this dude hates the fucking Syrian, how this dude hates humans, whatever. Constantly. They're constantly talking about how Schwartz is how he is because he doesn't feel like he's in control of his fate and he has to, you know, his fate was decided for him and he has no free will, blah, blah, blah. Like, I get it. I understand that. I don't need you to tell me every other scene. That's the bad part about this game is that, it, like, it just... They talk too much. And they talk too much about shit we already get. I already understand all the shit these people are saying. I already get what's going on. I don't need you to constantly spend, you know, every three minutes of every scene mentioning it again. Eh, it's been 15 minutes. I'm good now. I'm over it. Now that I actually think about it, that whole incest thing was weird. I'm kind of happy it's not going to happen now. Oh, is he talking to little Sirium girl? Yeah, he is. With those cone boobs. Yes. Oh, you are so stupid. You are so stupid. Yeah. We curb stomp the shit out of you. I think we'll be okay. What 
かを見られるのがまずだ黙れそんだけわめきれ大丈夫だろよし You said the same. Did she say the same? Was that the same exact line? I feel like that was the same exact line she used that last time when we let her go in Friendsburg. And now she's just gonna say it again. Tisk, tisk. Oh, good. So she's masochistic. That's great. Why can't we ever just meet a nice, normal girl? Siri, let's see here. So in Generation 1, we had that girl that acts the healing powers accidentally summoned demons and got her parents killed. And then she made a charm spell that ended up making her rape fucking vice. I can't even remember the other ones already. Alright, we got Felena, who was just fucking nuts. Bitch was cray. Eh, I guess, what's her name, the night girl wasn't actually, like, abnormal. Just a regular soldier princess, so that's not that bad. But then this generation, we got Vanessa. Fuck, that bitch cray. That bitch out of her damn mind. And then you got, um... Uh, Yumo. Who is, you know, incest. What else you gotta say? Incest. And who's the third? Who's the third one in this one? Oh right, the person I don't want to think about. I guess she's kind of. Well, I mean, like she's not abnormal, but she's not really anything. Like honestly, we haven't really like seen anything about her personality or anything. She's just there. I guess that makes her normal. Like, if we really want to get picky. <laughs> She's normal by virtue of just being hella quiet and not saying anything. Well, anyway, now that I have to go through all these fights and shit, um, I'm just, yeah, I'm gonna, this video's over.